seems impossible. Maybe. But is it as impossible as human flight? Harnessing the power of lightning? Wireless communication? All this seemed impossible long ago. Some people may say you're crazy, but we did it. We achieved the impossible by putting our minds to it. I, I actually joined the program sometime in September, if I'm not mistaken, in uh, 2004. I'm a, a cancer survivor. The whole gist of the program really taught me to uh, take control of my mental capacity because uh, by that time then I realized that uh, the way to good health was to tackle these three aspects of uh, my uh, well-being which is the physical, the mental and the spiritual aspects because basically what, what the program helped me was to focus on how to think positive because if you're mentally sick then you're generally you are a negative person is you know uh, everything cannot be done uh, you're going to be sick forever and uh, the, the, the thing about it uh, the server program is that it helps me even to look at calamities look at all these negativities in a positive manner in a way silver program has helped me how to turn the table around so much so that uh, I've now treated my cancer condition as a blessing rather than a curse you see why is it a blessing? Because through cancer, I've been able to forgive my enemies. I've been able to not to take things for granted with my family and my children. Uh, I've begun to appreciate life better. If I didn't have that mental training through, through Silver Method, it would be quite tough. Huh? In the early 1900s, a man named Walter Russell promised his girlfriend that he would get her season tickets for the opera. As the time drew close, however, he realized that he was $20 shy of what he needed. Upon telling his girlfriend, he was given an earful. Instead of backing down, he worked odd jobs to get more money. A week before the opera opened, he stood first in line to buy the tickets, although he was still short on funds. He still felt that he would somehow manage to collect what he needed. Suddenly, a businessman ran towards him and offered him some money so he could stand in front of Walter in line as he was late for work. Instead of offering the man his place in front of him, Walter told the man that he would buy the tickets for him and deliver it with no extra charge. Grateful for his kindness, the businessman paid Walter an additional $5 for Walter's services. During this time, many other people standing in line overheard Walter and the businessman's conversation. They too made the same proposition to Walter. By the time the box office opened, Walter had doubled the amount that he needed.